so I will go in and say uh, query let's create a query here so we have this one we have that one so let's create let's craft a query so we're going to say query is equal to select all from messages in fact the only thing we need here is the message ID I should think uh, or maybe we might not even need to retrieve that let me just say select all from messages let's see what we will get here where now this is where all this stuff happens because the where clause is what tells us where we are getting this stuff which rows exactly to get so the first condition we want is where uh, sender is equal to me for example so let's put those things there and say me like that uh, yes so also just to be sure that we escaped this value we will do exactly the same thing here and say user id is equal to we'll put that there and just repeat user id in there so that we can escape it as well ready for the database okay so sender is equal to me uh, and receiver is equal to the other guy so that's user id in our case user id like so mm -hmm. so this is one condition met like uh, if i am the sender and the other person is the receiver then this is definitely our message right but there are times when these things are reversed so what we will do is just put this inside brackets like so and then we are going to say or here and then we'll copy exactly this again here just change a few things so swap receiver and sender here so let's move sender over there so either if this is true where i'm the sender and the other person is the receiver or i am the receiver and the other person is the sender it's the same thing so we need all those messages with that and that's good so i think we don't need any any other clothes so what we can do is we can say order by id just to make sure that we have an id column here we do so order by id descending so that we see the um, we retrieve the last messages right and then we say limit uh, let's limit maybe 10 or 20 maybe 20 like that 20 messages at least okay that should do want it okay select okay so we have those messages there so we won't need to know what the message id is at all in this case we won't need it okay good i'll keep it there just in case and then once we retrieve these guys all we need to do is send them back so eh, maybe i just uh, remove everything except that db read and then we send that to data and then what do we do return data return data whatever that data contains so let's read through this again okay goody 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 okay so now that we have that let's go back here and let's do the deed now of course we will need to retrieve some data here so let me go up here just to confirm that i haven't already activated the messages class so i am using the messages class in here when something is posted but in order to avoid uh doing this twice or repeating the code uh yeah no maybe that would be wasteful so what i will do is just copy that here uh -huh. because it's not always that we'll need it there so just put it in there so read new messages and then messages class again this time we'll use our newly 
created function. So I will say read like that. But what are we reading exactly? So we are reading uh, URL number two, right? Like so, number two. Now also, it is important, like when we are creating a new uh, thing here, the URL is something like, let's say, uh, let me come back here. It's going to be something like messages, right? New, and then some ID there. So this is number zero, URL zero, and this is one, and this is two. Now, <clears throat> here we are only checking for one, and if one is equal to new, but it's important that we check for two as well, because if this is not supplied, then what are we going to be reading here? How will we know who we are sending the data to? So we need that as well, because we're actually using it here. So we might as well just put it in the if statement and remove it from here. Okay. But I guess this is fine since we are checking on it here. Hmm. I think that is fine. So maybe a better approach. So <clears throat> here what I will do is I will copy this. Da, 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 da. Up to there. Yeah, I think this was a better approach still. So let me come here and paste like so. Still this message applies. So I'll leave it there. And then I will say, not start new message and I will just say something like chatting with. Uh -huh. now let's go down here, remove all that. So chatting with, and then I don't want to read from there without knowing that it actually exists. So I will move this message class down here like so. Okie doke. I might as well move that uh, because uh, we won't be needing it if the, the second parameter isn't there anyway. So I'll leave it there like so. Okay. So we read from there and then obviously we get the user and then we read from the user as well to know who we are dealing with. And then we include this part. So that's fine. But then this is the message area right here. So here we have to create some messages. So all this here is irrelevant, but not really per se, because we will still need to communicate with this user eventually. So let's just add some more divs at the very top here. So I will do this and close that div like that. Okay, so great. So now we have, uh, oh, we have to assign this returned data to some form, some variable. Okay, so the data that we retrieve is in here. So what I will do now is do a for each loop. So I need to separate these two. So what I will do is I will echo again here, like so and then end this one right there, like, uh, boop, boop, like that. Mm -hmm. Not really what I was going for, but I'll do this and then echo again. Echo, like that, okay. All right, that's because I'm doing this because, <coughs> excuse me, I need to do a for each loop here. So I'll say for each data. Uh -huh. Now instead we won't need the key, we just need the message row here. So msg underscore row, like so. And then for now, I think, let me just show what row comes up like this before we start designing anything. So back to the drawing board. Let's refresh. Ooh, syntax error. 
I love these uh, syntax errors because they're the easiest to solve. So syntax error user. So a syntax error just means you you missed something like in the typing itself. So user, unexpected user, online 191. So usually this is because I've left out a semicolon somewhere. So before, probably on line 190. So let's go back and check 191, which is all this one, uh, which is this one actually. So as you can see previously, I've left out a semicolon there. Boom. Okay, so very good. Refresh, there we go. So as you can see, we've, re we've retrieved one message with this person. So there it is. So all we have to do now is display this message in a more readable manner. And then we can be able to send some more messages here. Okay, let's do that in the next video.